Hello again, Mike here. Sorry about the uh, sudden end to part two. Uh, someone wasn't keeping an eye on the counter on the uh, camcorder. But uh, basically we've uh, carried on and completed the canopy for the market stall. What we need now is a standard paper clip that we will open out and cut down to 30 millimeter lengths to make two uprights for the canopy to sit on. So let me straighten the paper clip out. Okay, we've now got the paper clip straightened and basically all we used was some modeling pliers. Now we just want to cut this to 30 millimeters in length. Now each one of these squares is 10 millimeters, so all I've got to do is line it up and get some side cutters just to snip it at that point, and you want two of those. Here we go, we've got the two side poles that will be used to hold the canopy up and they were cut just using some modelers side cutters let's clear the workspace let's get rid of these tools and what we will do is we will use some super glue to attach these to the side of the market stall. As can be seen we've now got the two poles attached to the market stall. Let's see if we can get a little bit closer so you can actually see those poles. There we go. Next we have to attach the canopy to the tops of those poles and that's simply by attaching some little dabs of super glue to each top and the canopy then just sits on the top of the poles and it's as simple as that so let's get this canopy attached okay here we go let's attach the super glue to the tops of the pole one two get the canopy and place it onto the pole try and get it in position before the glue grabs And there you have one market stall. So let's recap what have we built over parts one, two, and three. We've got a market stall, packing crate, and a traffic bollard all simply made very quickly from printed paper. Here we can have a, a closer look at the three little kits that we've produced so far and here is a Dapple 00 HO scale figure. As can be seen not bad Here we are on my layout Wordsworth. We can clearly see Traffic Island Bollards and the market stalls that we've just built. Let's see if we can have a little closer look. Mm. 
note the waste bin this will also be in another kit that will soon upload onto the website all adds that little extra detail to your layout okay we're back on the workbench and we're into part three um, what else have we got coming up in the kit range well we've got a wooden fence with a trellis on the top and this is already glued to some 600 GSM card and basically all you do is you cut out the section that you require that's it there score down the center and it folds in half and then you just apply this is this is where that prit super heavy glue comes in just apply some glue fold it over and hold it in place until the glue grabs and you've got one pretty good imitation wooden fence with trellis add some green scenic stuff and it looks the part once you get onto the layout What other exciting pieces have we? We've now got some headstones or gravestones depending on what terminology you want to use and these are the covering strips and basically all you need is some one millimeter card that you cut to this size so that it fits there and what I'll do is I'll actually show you how to make one of these kits what I'll do is I'll cut out this one here and then I'll come back once I've got this cut out here we go I've got the gluing mat back in place that's the headstone cut from the sheet of paper and that's the piece of one millimeter card it's one centimeter by 1.5 centimeters and all you do with this these are really really simple and look really effective on your layout get your print stick give it a good coat get your piece of card glue it onto the section there making sure it's square then all you do is fold that section up that section up and round there we go Just make sure that glue's still tacky. Fold that down. And over the front. There we go you've got one pretty good headstone I 
one question that comes up a lot is the chimney pots. Now, here's a sheet with three pots. What I'll do is I'll just cut this bottom piece off and then I'll show you how I make my chimney pots. Here we go, we've got the chimney pot cut out. Now, a lot of people have said it's white on the inside. Use a marker pen. That'll be enough. That will be on the inside. Now I like to use a four millimeter Allen key when I do mine. Get your piece, hold it, get your Allen key and pull it through your finger. See how it starts to form? A nice curve. Pull, turn round, pull. What you do now is get your print stick ready. There we go. Get the chimney pot onto the Allen key. Form it round. Once you've got it level, you just spin it round until you leave yourself a little tab. Get the glue, and then complete the roll. And then you just spin it round to make sure that the glue has grabbed. There we go. And then it just slides off, put it down, just make sure she's square, and you have one chimney pot with a black interior. The top section there can just be coloured using a marker pen or some pencil. So we've just done the chimney pot. Falling on from the chimney pot, what will be available soon are some oil drums. Doesn't quite look like an oil drum yet, but just wait. What I'll do is I'll cut one of these out and you need these sections cut out and I'll show you what we do with these. Now we've got the parts cut out that we require for the oil drums and you can see I've pre-scored these two because you need to fold these back to back. Right, those two pieces we can leave to one side for now. So what we'll do first is print stick, this time a bigger one. Doesn't have to be perfect this amongst the glue back to back. There we go. Put that one to one side. Fold it over. Doesn't have to be an exact match because we are going to do something really odd with these. Right, there we go. There we go. Put the cap back 
on the print stick and what we're going to have to do is just let these dry a little bit so we'll come back to these now then what we're going to use is a hole punch and all you want to do is slide the piece in bring it down and cut some pieces and then we'll retrieve those and I'll show you what we've got now from the hole punch what you get are these discs and what you just need to do is using normal felt tip pen just go around the edges hiding the white raw edges it just makes it look that little bit better once you get it all together just go all the way around So, oops, sorry about that. There we go. Now let's make the barrels. Just exactly the same how we did the chimney pots. Four millimeter Allen key. Pull through your fingers to start the curve. Print stick. Make sure that's the end piece, so it'll be the last piece to go on. Onto the Allen key, and then square it up, and then gently wrap around. Get to the end. Apply some glue. Complete the roll. There we go. And then slide it off. There's the barrel casing. Now, what we want is two of these, and I want the yellow ends to show, so I'm going to turn that over apply some PVA via this applicator and then you just gently lower that onto the cap oh. And the idea is, is you square it up best you can. Once you're happy, apply a little bit downward pressure. And repeat 